Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your GK teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your GK class. My dear students, as you know that we are on unit number 14, that is food. And today I will deliver its fourth lecture, which is about basic food groups. And today we will discuss fruits and vegetables and grains. So as you know that in the previous lecture, we already discussed the three first three primary groups of food, which were dry fruits, meat and dairy products. Today we will discuss about fruits, vegetables and grains. So my dear students, let's quickly recap uh, the previous lecture. Listen to the question very carefully. So these are dry fruits, dairy and meat. Quickly tell me that what do dry fruits provide us? They provide us with minerals and fats. Very good. In which season dry fruits are most beneficial? Winter season because they keep us warm. And what do dairy product, products provide us? They provide us with nutrients, minerals and protein. Very good. And what does meat provide us? It provides us with proteins. Okay, my dear students, <clears throat> let's quickly start with an activity. So, uh, fruits, vegetables and grains. So, which fruit do you like to eat? I like mangoes, I like watermelons, and I also like oranges and apples. So quickly tell me which vegetables are healthiest. Kabhi socha hai aapne? All the vegetables, vegetables jo hai, sabzeyan jo hai, ye aapki sehat ke liye bohat achhi hoti hai, especially green ones. The green leafy vegetables hoti hai, they are rich in iron. Ye iron ka bohat bada source hoti hai, and they are very good for our health. Okay, what do grains provide us? They provide us with lots and lots of energy because they have carbohydrates in them. Okay, my dear students, now identify certain food groups as fruits, vegetables and grains. Today we will discuss about this. So my dear students, let's quickly look at the Islamic perspective. He causes to grow for you, thereby the crops, olives, palm, trees, grape wines and from all the fruits indeed in that is a sign for the people who give thought so my dear students allah taala quran e pak mein farma rahe hain ke allah taala ne hamare liye betahasha qisam ke darakh phool paude aur un pe phal aur sabziyan lagayi hain taaki hum unse fayda utha sake iske ilawa iske liye hamare andar bahut sari nishaniyan hain jinse hum allah taala ko pehchan sakte hain so my dear students, some pre-reading questions before we move on towards the reading. Quickly tell me, how do you feel after eating your favorite fruit? When you consume your favorite fruit season, ka consume karte hai, usse khate hai, toh aapko kaisa feel hota hai? Ek toh hum bhoat zada khush hota hai sab se pehle, because watermelons abhi nai nai jaysay aay hai, toh jab usko thanda karke aur hum khate hai, toh it gives, uh, sab se pehle toh mujhe khushi bhoat zada hoti hai, and after that, they are very refreshing. Uh, instantly aapko ek refreshing si jo hai wo feeling hoti hai when you ever consume the fruits. So my dear students, uh, the food groups which we are already discussing, there are five primary food groups, dry fruits, dairy and meat. This is we have done in the previous lecture and today we will discuss about fruits, vegetables and grains. So my dear students, let's start the reading. Quickly open page number 133 in your GK3 books. I hope everybody has opened the book, so let's start the reading. Fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are healthy source of vitamins, minerals and fibers. These are necessary to keep us healthy. So my dear students, fruits so hai, they are rich in vitamins and minerals and they also have fiber in them, which is very stomach and gut ke liye important. Hai. Dark leafy green vegetables generally contain most of the nutrition and can be eaten at every meal. Examples include spinach, kale, green beans, broccoli and collard green. So my dear students, vegetables jo hai, unme leafy vegetables, jo hai, green leafy vegetables, they are very rich in different kinds of nutrients and they are the healthiest and uh, you can add them in your every meal. Aap do pehar ko bhi le sakte hai, raat ko bhi le sakte hai. And they are good for your health. Uh, skill have a white, uh, jo fruits hai, ye aapko vitamins or minerals provide karte hai, jo aapki body ke liye bohat healthy hote hai, ye aapko body kam amount mein chahi hote hai, but they uh, uh, help you to get energy, thik hai? Okay, my dear students, now grains. 
wheat rice maize are the most common grains that we use in our food they are rich sources of carbohydrates and provide energy so my dear students jitni bhi dalay hain iske ilawa uh, pulses hain aur grains hain jaise ke uh, wheat hai gandum hai oats hai baale hai uh, ye aapko carbohydrates provide karte hain which are very good source of energy for your body तो आपकी बॉडी के अंदर जो मेन सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी है जिससे आप पूरा दिन एक्टिव रहते हैं दैट इज कार्बोहाइड्रेट जब आप चावल खाते हैं रोटी खाते हैं तो आपको एनर्जी फील होती है और यही आपकी बॉडी को बेसिकली एनर्जी प्रोवाइड करते हैं फ्रूट्स एंड वेजिटेबल्स दे आर रिच इन वाइटमिन एंड मिनरल्स ये आपको दे आर नॉट अ ग्रेट सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी लेकिन ये आपकी बॉडी के अंदर एनर्जी को ब्रेक डाउन करने में आपके लिए हेल्पफुल होते हैं सो so, जितनी भी डाइट है इसको जब आप एक बैलेंस तरीके से खाते हैं तभी जो है आप ए हेल्दीएस्ट लाइफ स्टाइल जो है वो गुजार सकते हैं ओके माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स सो फ्रूट्स एंड वेजिटेबल्स दे आर रिच इन वाइटमिन एंड मिनरल्स एंड फाइबर्स देन कम्स लीफी ग्रीन वेजिटेबल्स दे कैन बी ईटन एट एवरी मील एंड दे आर द हेल्दीएस्ट एंड दे आर वेरी रिच इन मिनरल्स एंड वाइटमिन So then next come grains and uh, grains include wheat barley and rice and they are rich in carbohydrates and they provide us with energy so my dear students uh, legumes eggs cheese can be substitute of meals iske ilawa jo different daale hain aur jo ande hain ye bhi hamare different jo source hai eat, eating source hai ye uska uske liye bhi bahut acha hai aur isko aap ऑल्टरनेट uh, कर सकते हैं यानी कि आप अगर रोटी नहीं खा रहे तो आप इन चीज़ों को कंज्यूम कर सकते हैं या आप अगर वेजिटेबल्स नहीं ले रहे uh, तो आप इन चीज़ों को कंज्यूम कर सकते हैं सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ क्विकली थिंक अबाउट इट सीरियल्स प्रोवाइड कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स एज अ सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी इज देयर एनी वेजिटेबल हैविंग रिच कार्बोहाइड्रेट इन इट सो कोई वेजिटेबल ऐसी है जो कि कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स में बहुत ज़्यादा रिच होती है वेरी गुड पटेटो इट इज आलू जो है दे आर वेरी रिच इन कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स इसके अलावा स्वीट पोटैटोज शक्करकंदी जिसे कहते हैं दे आर आल्सो वेरी रिच इन कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स एंड दे आर अ ग्रेट सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ इज द टाइम फॉर एवैल्यूएशन फॉर व्हिच वी विल मूव फॉरवर्ड टुवर्ड्स पेज नंबर 137 सो आई विल आस्क दीस क्वेश्चंस ओरली एंड यू विल आल्सो आंसर देम ओरली सो क्वेश्चन नंबर 12 व्हाई शुड वी ईट फ्रूट्स एंड वेजिटेबल्स बिकॉज़ दे आर अ ग्रेट सोर्स ऑफ विटामिन एंड मिनरल्स वेरी गुड so which food items are rich source of energy grains why because they have carbohydrates in them can you name some grains wheat barley rice these are some grains which are very good and rich in carbohydrates okay uh okay quickly tell me which food items promote children growth they are egg cheese milk butter meat they promote uh, growth in children okay my dear students now is the time for practice for practice you can download this worksheet from the description box below this video or you can get it in print form by your teacher so my dear students write name and food group of the products and also write the nutrient which they provide so there are different fruit groups here uh, from vegetables fruits and grains so you have to tell ki ye aapko kya provide karte hain aur ye kaun se food group se taluk rakhte hain so number 1 is wheat it belongs to grains it provides us with carbohydrates then comes grapes it from belongs to fruit group and it provides us with minerals and vitamins then comes broccoli vegetable rice um lig uh, this is um, Um, ये फलियाँ हैं और इनको इंग्लिश में कुछ कहते हैं लेट मी कम हो सोया दिस इज सोया एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो पार्ट ऑफ वेजिटेबल एंड देन कम्स कॉर्न दिस इज ऑल्सो अ वेजिटेबल सो दिस इज हाउ यू विल कम्प्लीट इट नेक्स्ट इज विच फूड आइटम इज रिच इन एनर्जी ग्रेन्स आर रिच इन एनर्जी बिकॉज दे प्रोवाइड अस विद कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स वॉट डज फ्रूट्स एंड वेजिटेबल्स प्रोवाइड अस दे प्रोवाइड अस विद minerals uh, nutrients and vitamins okay my dear students now is time to note down the homework so homework act home activity number 4 given on page number 133 is there any other food item that may substitute meat in nutrition so koi aisa food item hai jo ki meat ko 
alternate kare aur wo aapko protein provide kare so because meat provides us with protein so kaun sa khana hai jo aap meat ki jagah le sakte hain jisse aapko protein mile humne ye previous lecture mein kiya tha it was red beans and green beans because they are very rich in protein and this can be an alternative of meat okay my dear students now you will do question number 2 and you will do fruits and vegetables and grains given on page number 139 because we have already done about dry fruits meat and dairy so question number 2 is enlist basic food groups with examples so aaj aap fruits vegetables or grains likhenge aur iski examples ko quote karenge in your notebooks so my dear students now is the time for wrap up so for wrap up today we have done that fruits and vegetables provide minerals vitamins and fibers green leafy vegetables are rich in nutrition grains are rich source of carbohydrates so my dear students now we have completed the primary five groups of foods which are dry fruits meat dairy fruits and vegetables and grains so these are five food groups which are very important for our health so my dear students i hope you have enjoyed today's lecture keep everybody around you safe have a good day thank you so much and allah hafiz